All right, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Igor Adelman, and I welcome you to Cloud Slam 09. Um, you have uh, joined a session with Nati Shalom, the CTO and co-founder of GigaSpace. Yeah, hi there. Uh, Igor, uh, thank you for the uh, introduction. Uh, today what I'm going to talk to you is uh, basically uh, some of uh, the, uh, share with you some of the experience that we had with uh, developing and deploying application on the cloud. Uh, I'm going to do that in uh, kind of a, uh, uh, the way I'm going to do that is basically go through Gigaspaces just as a quick introduction and then go through a uh, summary of the challenges that people face today when they're trying to deploy uh, an enterprise application on the cloud. And later on, what I'll try to do is kind of provide some sort of a practical guideline on how, uh, based on our experience, is the best way to deal with that. Uh, and hopefully, we'll end up with some uh, open session for questions. And hopefully, that will be an interactive session. Uh, so I'll start with the uh, quick introduction to Gigaspaces. So the important thing, I think, uh, and I don't want to spend too much time on that, is that uh, we've been dealing with distributed computing for a long time. For us, cloud computing came in a perfect timing, and it's uh, basically an enabler for building and delivering a lot of the experience that we had with years of uh, uh, dealing with very high-end application in the financial world uh, in a much simpler way, uh, because uh, cloud really brought uh, the ability to run cluster machine and distributed computing machines or an environment uh, in a, in a cost-effective way, in a way that everyone can experience with, whether he has a big IT organization or a small IT organization. Uh, so that's kind of the, uh, you could see here some of the list of customers that are using us. You could see that a lot of them are kind of uh, very distinguished names. Uh, but the important thing is that we've been around, we've dealt with all the issues, so the issues of the shared computing and the things that cloud computing brings to the world is a very natural fit for us. Um, before I start, I wanted to kind of touch, uh, I know that a lot of the discussion would be uh, around what is cloud, and I really don't want to talk about that specifically. Yeah, I do think that we do need to touch base with, the, uh, with what brings us to deal with cloud, because I think that with all the discussion on cloud, we kind of uh, miss the point from time to time. Uh, if I look at that from a business perspective, it's very simple. Uh, we have issues of capacity planning, which is very complex. Today, most of the organization uh, is built or is provisioned by the peak load. Uh, we take the peak load, and uh, obviously we take and uh, uh, provision the machines based on that number. Uh, when obviously, the average is much lower than that. So if we have, uh, for example, a peak that requires 10 machines and an average that requires three machines, we'll have basically a, a, a very low utilization, and seven machines would be pretty much redundant most of the time. Um, if we'll also take into account that uh, it's not just a production environment that is going to be affected by that peak load number, it's also the, uh, uh, the uh, staging environment as well as the disaster recovery site, we basically end up with 21 machines just standing there for one-time event. Uh, so obviously, the current methodology for dealing with these type of things is and I'm great. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Um, are you sharing your desktop because none of the attendees can see slides? Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. If you can do that. Yeah, so I did. Oh, there we go. Okay. Do you see the slides now? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Now. So, cool. so if we look at the, one of the Forrester uh, recent uh, research uh, that uh, measured that type of uh, arguments, I think that it's clear that capacity planning uh, is is too complex, and therefore uh, moving to clouds would be a very clear motivation. Another thing which is uh, very important is the time to market. Uh, obviously. Uh, Trying to deploy an application on the current IT environment takes a lot of uh, manual work and a lot of uh, relatively uh, a lot of